Welcome to Color Harmony. My name is Eric Francis. This corner of the internet is dedicated to portrait painting tutorials. We focus on technical skills that'll help you make better paintings. It'll help, even if you don't make portraits. Our topic of discussion today is wrinkles. But before we get started, I make a drawing on canvas, I give it a number wash, and we're ready to begin. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get into our first tip of the day. I want you to be able to clearly identify different types of wrinkles. Let's take a look at figure A so you can see what I mean. Now there can be fine line wrinkles, highlight wrinkles, or the well-worn wrinkles. Like that one wrinkle you see in your mother's head that makes you know she's upset. <laughs> I work from general to specific. So when it comes to painting wrinkles, I start off with the real hard, bold, well-worn wrinkles first. I then build up paint in translucent layers, I blend it, and then I add the fine line wrinkles. I finish off the painting by adding highlights and highlight wrinkles. Now the thing that makes wrinkles look like wrinkles and not just like scratch marks or lines on your face is light and shadow. It's the difference that makes a difference. So I want you to pay close attention to lights and shadows. Here are some general rules to keep in mind about light and shadows when you're painting your awesome portraits. The first thing is that areas that have a lot of light have a great amount of contrast and a great amount of color, while areas that are in the shadow have little contrast and little color. Things that are in the shadow appear to be flat because really there's no color in contrast, while things that are in the light appear to be round because of all the color and the contrast. So I primarily work from reference images. And I was looking to paint an elderly Native American woman. Now the reason why I chose this particular picture was because of the light and shadows. It was because it had a great deal of contrast. Because of this, I knew it would look really realistic. So when you're picking a picture to paint, try to find something that has a great deal of contrast. Now while you're painting in the shadows and those fine line wrinkles, I need you to slow down. There's a ton, a ton of little details that you have to go through and it could seem like a daunting task and you can get frustrated and frustration ruins paintings. So just take your time and if you find yourself getting frustrated and it's getting really difficult, then just put it to the side. If you have to start working on something else, then start working on something else. Don't let frustration ruin your paintings. Just let yourself come back to a calm state of mind. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about how uh, light and shadow affects wrinkles. You see that we're still in the early stages and uh, the painting looks very flat. The wrinkles are actually somewhat angular lines. On the light side of the face, the wrinkles look rounder because the shadows give them more form. In this example, we're much further along in the painting. We notice that in the shadow areas, there's some reflected light which gives the wrinkles form, but not much though. In the lighter areas, there's some shadow added, which give those wrinkles more form. Plus, we've added in fine line wrinkles. In this example, we add highlights. Now highlights go a long way in creating the illusion of three-dimensional form. It makes those very angular lines that we painted in the beginning look like wrinkles. To close this video, let's summarize our main points. One, identify the different kinds of wrinkles. Two, 
Pay close attention to light and shadows. And three, slow down. Like what you've seen? Then do me a favor. Subscribe, like, and share this video. If you want to check out some more of my artwork, you can visit my blog. That's erictfrancis.blogspot.com. And if you want to help support this content even more, you can donate. On my blog, there's a link that'll send you to PayPal. And you can leave whatever you like. Your donations are greatly appreciated. These videos, they're made by request. So if you have a question, ask. You never know, you might see the answer in a video. God is good. Peace.